YouTube, what is up everybody? Doomwake here, and as you can see, we have a little something special for you today. So, for those of you who have been watching and following the channel, watching the Twitch stream over the past couple of weeks, you may know that I've been a little bit less in on Modern, I've been focusing more on Pioneer because of the PTQ season starting up in the next couple of weeks, and I try to play the Vintage Challenge every week to kind of change it up a little bit, have a little bit of fun, and I am showcasing this video to get to you guys today because I actually made the finals of the Vintage Challenge, so this is going to be an extremely long video, longer than my usuals. I thought about doing it in two parts, but for those of you who don't enjoy the Vintage content, I would feel bad doing, you know, part one today, part one on, on uh... Wednesday, Thursday, whenever the next video goes out. So I didn't want to have like all of the content be vintage. So I'll do a vintage video today and I'll probably have another uh, Pioneer video out uh, probably Wednesday and Friday. But I wanted to uh, showcase this to you guys because I had so much fun playing Vintage. Like I said, I try, try, try to play it once a week, the uh, Saturday Challenge, because the Sunday one I think starts at like 2 a.m. I'm not going to play that one. Uh, and I had a ton of fun, and we did extremely well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. So what are we playing in Vintage? Well, we are playing a little card called Oath of Druids. Now, um, I'm going to spend maybe a little bit more time on the card by card because for those of you regular viewers of the channel, you may not know a lot of these cards. But Oath of Druids is an extremely powerful card. It's a two-man enchantment, and if your opponent controls more creatures than you, you get to, uh, on your upkeep, I think it triggers on upkeep, you get to flip cards from the top of your library until you hit a creature, and put that creature directly into play. So, we are, obviously we have, basically, we only have two creatures in our entire deck, our oath targets, and what we're utilizing, well obviously... If your opponent is playing creatures, that's great, because they'll just trigger the oath for you, but for when your opponent doesn't have creatures, we can give them a creature, so this is kind of a classic combination of Forbidden Orchard to, you know, it's a dual land that gives your opponent a 1-1, which triggers your Oath of Druids. Now, we're putting Niv, Mizzet, and Gristlebrain into play. You might think, well, why not something like Emrakul the Eon's Torn, or Blightsteel Colossus, or this, or that? Um, those cards are legendary, a little bit worse against Caracas, because people do play Caracas, and at least if they Caracas Gristlebrain, you get a draw 7 out of it. Uh, Niv, Mizzet, you get a little bit of value because like if they were Caracas in your upkeep you can respond and play some cantrips maybe so and also Niv Mizzet is a blue card which is nice because it pitches the force of will which we obviously have four copies of and it's also just kind of castable like six mana you'll notice and you'll see in the video I heard guess this thing a couple of times it definitely comes up so these are and obviously in combination if you have both in play if you pay seven life to draw seven with Gristlebrand you just get to dome your opponent for seven so it's not it if you get both into play, the game's not going to last that long. So it's basically, these are kind of the, the two creatures that are the least susceptible to removal or the, the most resilient to removal that also are maybe a little bit more castable than your other creatures. Um, you know, the rest of this deck, we have a lot of cantrips, so we have Gitaxian Probe. Now, remember, Vintage has a restricted list, so a lot of these cards that you see are one-ofs are restricted, which means you can only play one copy. So Gitaxian Probe, Mental Misstep, Ancestral Recall, I guess Mental Misstep's not a uh, cantrip, Ancestral Recall, Brainstorm, Ponder, Three Preordain, and then that is it for the cantrips. I guess Narset, you can kind of lump in with the cantrips. We have our counter spells, which is four Force of Will, a must in almost any non degenerate like any non like shops or dredge, even dredge plays Force of Will sometimes. But basically, any blue deck, you have to play four Force of Will, two Fluster Store, four Pyroblast, which might seem like a little aggressive main deck, but there are tons and tons of blue decks. Pyroblast is not dead in a lot of matchups. Even against the aforementioned dredge decks, they still play their own copies of Force of Will because it's just that good so pirate blast the only deck that it's really dead against i would say is hogak and shops which there are people that play those decks so that's why you'll notice our sideboard is maybe a little bit more geared towards those decks but yeah i think it's a pretty good inclusion to play uh four copies man deck along with the veil of summer as well and then we obviously have our fast mana mox uh the three on color moxes along with black lotus obviously just ridiculously powerful cards uh, and then we have Time Walk, which is not really a cantrip or a counterspell. It's just a broken card, especially in combination with Oath of Druids. You, you get to go Oath of Druids, a creature into play. Uh, maybe it's Gristlebrand. Maybe you draw seven, look for a Time Walk, cast Time Walk with a Gristlebrand in play. I'm sure you can imagine that's a pretty good time. And then we have our Planeswalkers. So we, we're kind of like a, a weird-ish mid-range deck. We can play kind of like a... You'll notice in a couple of games, we just kind of play some Planeswalkers and, and kind of go the distance with them uh, when our opponent's shutting off Oaths with like Force of Vigors and Graft Diggers Cages and stuff like that. So we have three Ren and Six to pair with two Wasteland and a Strip Mine. 
Uh, we're not going all in on the Wasteland plan because we are, you know, we, we have Ren and Six, but it's not our primary game plan. So that we only have two copies of that. We have three Oko, one of the last remaining formats where Oko is actually legal and it is quite good in this format. Just Oko is just a really broken card. And the Narset is only one copy because it is restricted. Uh, and then a couple other defensive tools here. We have a Mind Break Trap, which is really good against Storm. Um, and also just like even Shops opponents, depending, sometimes their opening hands have like multiple Moxen and one payoff. Off, and you just actually just get the mind break trap their payoff which is kind of cool and then two copies of main deck force of vigor because there is a lot of shops going around and a lot of urza sagas so the vintage is a, is a little weird you'll notice there's like so many of these main deck cards that you wouldn't really expect in a format like modern because formats like vintage are much more condensed in the not only condensed in the top metagame but just in the broken cards so like force of vigor you know pyroblast stops ancestral recall it stops time walk so on and so forth force of vigor stops all the broken mana acceleration from the shops deck stuff like that uh and also is good against all of their uh, their spheres and then we have one gaia's blessing comes up from time to time because you are oath of Druids mills your cards so you don't want to mill yourself entirely so if you flip over gaia's blessing you can just shuffle everything back uh and you can kind of set up some cool loops with it too and then in the mana base, we mentioned Forbidden Orchard, uh, pretty standard fetch lands, dual lands like you see in Legacy. And then we have two copies of Beseju, which is also exceptional in this format because a lot of the decks that play Mishra's Workshop and Bazaar Baghdad don't feature basic lands. So Beseju is just a strip mine, and in combination with Renin Six, it effectively gives you more ways to kind of lock out all of their mana, which is pretty cool. So that is it for the main deck in the sideboard. Again, very, very focused sideboard. We have three Ravenous Traps, obviously good against Dredge. Four Nature's Claim. One of the better cards we're playing against uh, shops. We don't actually have the fourth Force of Vigor, but Nature's Claim is a card that, you know, when you're lower on resources, doesn't cost you as much, so it's better when you mulligan and is the probably the, the single best card after Force of Vigor against Shops because it only costs one mana. Soul Guide Lantern, again for Dredge. We have the additional Force of Vigor. Alpine Moon, which is good against both Mishra's Workshop and Bazaar Baghdad, which is kind of cool. Uh, an additional Veil of Summer for the blue decks. Sylvan Library, when we're trying to play a longer game. And then one Tabernacle at Pendril Veil. Very good against Hogak. It, because they put a lot of creatures into play, and sometimes, depending on the draw, it can be good against shops. Also, it's only good against the aggressive shops version. There's two different shops versions, aggro, aggro shops and combo shops. Better against aggro shops, not really good against combo shops, but there are definitely some matchups where it's just incredibly powerful. That's the deck. Again, this is going to be... I had an absolute blast. I really think you guys are going to enjoy this one. I know it's a long video, and I apologize for that, but I promise it'll be worth it in the long run. So let's get into some games. I'll see you back here in just a little bit for round number one. Luris of the Dream Den. And I have no lands. So, Mulligan. I the stones. One of those days, huh? One of those days. Uh, I mean, okay, this hand's pretty cracked. Just put back Force and a Fetch. Uh, hold on a second. Can I afford to have my only Oath target be Gristlebrand? Because I want to keep the Niv so I can hold up Force. So if I go put back Flooded Strand Force, I have turn 2 Oath with Force backup. I have to, right? Like, I can't afford to not keep the blue card for Forest. It's just, like, obviously atrocious if I draw the Gristle Brand. I have to risk it, though, I think. I think I have to risk it. I guess my issue is, can I kill them without the Niv? Like, I don't know that I can kill them without the Niv. Eh, we'll figure it out. I have to do this. I have to do this. We'll figure out a way to kill them. If Thalia. Uh, kind of have to force that, especially if my plan is Gristle Brand. All right, give me a Mox. Mox, Mox, Mox. Mox. Mox! Damn it. Play this player on Wasteland. Okay. Go. Maybe they'll just play... Uh, I don't know. This matchup seems not great for us, because their deck is just all hate bears. 
Okay. We don't have a hate bear. It's good. Oh. Oh, hello there. Okay. Uh, all right, get drop. Play my oath. Watch me get manatized. <clears throat> manatized, got him. No, I didn't get manatized. To form a message. Shit! How could this happen? Oh my god, they even have Lurus to rebuy the Cathar Commando? Good god. Good god. Oh, and they have Caracas, so we can't possibly win. Yeah, they're just gonna blow this up and then strip mine me. Yeah, so we're dead. Okay, at least they're... Okay. I mean, the Oko's not even good, because I have to give them two 1-1s. One I don't have any other choice, but... It's not even that good, giving them two 1-1s. One one's. Yeah, the, the third Orchard, not the best. I don't really think I have an out at this point. I think the tabernacle's in my sideboard, yeah. Matchup seems pretty atrocious. Their deck is just all, like, insane hate bears against me. And they have Luris. And they have Caracas. Yeah, I think the versions that I've seen... Wait. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter, but... <laughs> at least they're giving me a chance. It's completely irrelevant, but... Minus one, by the way. Minus one Kataki Kek W. Alright, what is our best possible draw? I don't know. I have to pay... Okay. <clears throat> well, that answers the Caracas. So, potentially, if we draw Oath, still kind of not in a great spot, but... Oh, they had Path. Dope. Alright, alright, you win, you win. <clears throat> you win. <clears throat> okay, so playing against hate bears. Let's bring in Nature's Claim. Let's bring in Tabernacle. Uh, I think Force of Vigor is not great. And Break Trap is terrible. Um, I think Misstep is not good, right? Luster Storm is bad. Pyroblast is bad. We have a lot of bad cards. Bale of Summer is bad. I have to keep. I have to bring in six of these. All right. I guess we're gonna bring in the forces because they have text. Uh, yeah. Alpine Moon misstep. I guess I could Lantern against the Luris. Maybe that's more relevant than the Alpine Moon. They only have one Caracas, right? Yeah, let's do that. And I have Wasteland for Caracas too, so it's not like I, it's I have Wasteland and Besage. It's not like I'm out. It's not like I have zero outs to Caracas. I have four outs to it. So I, I think this is fine. <clears throat> Misstep isn't a blank. I don't think they have a single one mana card in their deck. I just looked at their deck list earlier, and I, I don't think they have a single one mana card. I think it's actually blank. Well, I guess they showed us path that game, but... Yeah, well, they probably have Plow. Sure, 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 that's fair. No, 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 they showed us path that game, but... I mean, how much do I really care about path? If, I, if I'm if i resolving Oath, the game's over anyways. Like, if I resolve Oath, they, they lose. 
Uh, definitely keeping this. Yeah, this hand's fucking broken, right? Look at this hand fat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Well, they better have the fucking misstep or they lose. Misstep or you're dead. I could probably bait the misstep with Breardane, right? Let's try it. Let's see if I can bait the misstep. Alright, well, it looks like they're f 6 Both these cards suck. That card doesn't suck. Let me just turn one Oko. Let's get a Trop, I guess. Alright, uh, your turn. That's all I got. That's it. That's all I got. Oh, planes go, huh? A little planes go action. Uh, alright, beatdowns. Beatdowns. I feel like we're already in garbage time. I'm pretty sure we're already in garbage time, right? Imagine if one of our wastelands was a strip. Yeah, I know. You don't like their planes choice? Yeah, I'm not a fan either. Well, uh, vintage things, right? See, this is why you put the blue cards in your deck. Because when you draw the blue cards, you win. Mmm. They skillfully got around my Renin 6. Alright, fine. You have a 2 2. Hmm. Guess we are drawing a couple blanks. So I think what I want to do is Oko my box, get back a land, and then just pass. Well, maybe attack for attack for three and then pass. So let's get back a land. Oh, I could just swap, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna give them the mox. I don't know why I floated mana, but... Mmm... That one. Deck. Go. I could claim the box, but... <clears throat> I guess maybe it's better to claim the box than keeping the second box, the second claim in hand. I mean, I'm trying to save claim for, like, Spirit of the Labyrinth and that kind of shit, but... Yeah, I could also... Well, no, Besage Wing, it's bad. They just get a planes. Again, I'd rather just save the Besaju, see? Like, I just want to kill this kind of stuff. Also, not a fan of giving them more lands. I guess it doesn't matter how many lands they have, realistically. Uh, okay. Yeah? Why would they target the Mox? Now if I kill the Relic Ward, I just get the Mox back. Interesting. I'm also not even going to uh, claim this, because I just have the Renin 6. Alright, kill this. Uh, make a food. This might be a little aggressive. It's probably too aggressive, right? Eh, fuck it. How am I losing this game? <laughs> the answer is I'm not. Alright, they're off it. Let's go. Do you think that I may be simple? Can swap a food for the Relic Order and then Elk the Order to perma exile the Mox. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do that again. Let's draw Black Lotus Ancestral Recall stuff. Let's draw those two cards again. Those are powerful magic cards. Well, probably the two best cards in my deck, right? I would say those are the two best cards in my deck. <clears throat> I 
And you know what? You know what planes is my favorite. The Odyssey store, like the one that looks like a lightning bolt. That's my favorite planes. That is such a good planes. The best card of my deck is Niv Visit. All right, this hand looks a little bit worse than the first hand <laughs> or the second hand. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can keep this hand. If this was an orchard, maybe, but. Uh, the sand has no blue mana. It's extremely high upside, though. Alright, I'm gonna put back the lantern. I, I think I have to keep a hand like this. If I draw blue mana, I probably win. I'm gonna pitch Preordane, I think. I could pitch Oko, because I'm a little far away from Oko. Uh, yeah, okay, I should pitch Oko, I think. I think I'm gonna hold on to the box. No, because that's too bad if they have another Thalia, right? Yeah, I gotta play the box. Because now, if they go Thalia and I draw a blue source, I can just play a cantrip. Okay, I don't give a shit about that. Blue mana! Let's go! Blue mana! Nope. Tilt. I mean, I had to keep the sand, right? I don't think I can afford to mulligan. <clears throat> nice ghost corner. Also, they just didn't attack. Well, I guess if I draw a land, I'm just going to play Oath. So, land? Machek, land? Okay. <laughs> Go. Eventually. Hmm. That probably means I lose. Hmm. Now I can't fetch. Can I go to eight? Yeah, I don't think I have any outs. All right, well, them's the breaks. Hmm. Well, this hand's just awful anyways. Okay, this hand has a plan. Plan is turn one oath. Now, I think I should put back Mindbreak Trap. Because if I draw Lotus or another Mox, I can go Oath and Flusterstorm their Force of Will. And I think Mindbreak Trap is largely irrelevant. So let's do that. I mean, they could also just not have the Force, right? Like... Only seven cards, yeah. <laughs> well, they've already powdered. They're down to five. Looks like they're keeping five. Yep, keeping five. So they found Bazaar. Yeah. I mean, I guess if I draw Mox, I might just Wasteland them. Might just go, like, Oath Wasteland. Okay, that's fine. Now the question is, do I waste them or do I play Oath? I think I probably wasteland them. Right? Ah, uh, this is kind of dicey. If I wasteland them and they hit Narcomoeba... If I wasteland them and they hit an Archimede, they get seven more power. Okay, let's 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 try and think this out. So let's say I wasteland them, right? Pass. They hit Archimede. They go attack for four. I go to sixteen, and they get seven power in play. Then I go Mox Land Oath Pass. They attack me for eleven, and I go to five, and I have to hit Gristlebrand or I die. And then Gristlebrand then blocks Hollow 1, go up to 12, take 7 down to 5. I mean, I don't really think I can afford to give them a Bazaar, though. This is really close. If I Wasteland them and they miss on Narcomoeba, it's really good for me. 
Because then I just take four, take four, and then oath them. I think I'm going to wasteland them. It's really close, but... I think it's close. I think it's really defensible to play the oath there. Okay, dodge Narcabee, but that's really good. Also dodge Cabal Therapy, which is really good. That might force my oath. Well, I mean, I'm assuming I, I can't beat the I can't beat force anyways. Oh. Okay, never mind. That's a good draw. Because now if they have force of will, I have to back up oath. Alright, didn't have force of will. Didn't have force of vigor. So you're saying there's a chance. Still kinda have to hit Gristlebrand, though. Now that they have two more amalgams coming back. We still, I think, have to hit Gristlebrand. I don't think Niv's going to be enough. <clears throat> okay. I would like to use the ability. Alright, we hit the Gristlebrand. That's good. Um... So I guess we just... We also drew Besaju, which we can Besaju the Hollow One. So I guess we just go Tarn Pass. Because... Mm, I guess I could Gaius Blessing, and then also still Besaju, because I have a legendary creature. What would I want a Gaius Blessing back, though? I don't know. Like, Lotus... It's not much, right? It's like Lotus Oko, maybe? Narset? Oh, I can Oath their shit? Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna Oath back the Troll, the Icarid. I didn't realize I can Blessing their shit. Okay, that's insane. Yeah, that's cracked. I forgot I can do that. Alright, let's go Blessing, you, Troll, Icarid... We'll put a powder back in your deck. That's actually cracked. I forgot you could do that. If they force this? Okay, well now we just don't Oath. Of course we drew the fucking Niv. <laughs> of course we drew the Niv. I think we're fine, though. I think we're fine. I'm going to end of turn this Besaju. Uh, no, I'm not. I want to get red mana. Would I like to use the ability? No, thanks. Veil of Summer. I mean, I'm just winning this race, right? Uh, yep. <laughs> have I listened to Slaughterhouse by Motionless and White? Is that their new song? Yes, I have. It's really good. Hmm. So I could Veil. I think Veiling is okay, right? Because I Veil... Take 10, go to 5. Yeah. I don't get to besage you here, but I think it's fine. Wait, why don't I just let them grief me? Like, why do I care? I guess I protect the Fluster Storm. Alright, I'll Veil. So I got a 5, up to 12, kill this, and then we're fine. No. And that should be good enough. Yeah, I don't think they're... I don't think I can get out of this. 
<clears throat> They're dead. Why did I get red mana that confused me? Um, I was thinking about hard casting this eventually, but I guess if I draw Lotus, the Lotus can just be the red mana. Yeah, I thought I thought that I wanted to potentially hard cast this, but like it just doesn't matter, right? I can just get Lotus. Wait, Veil of Summer's good too, right? I think Veil's good. Misstep is pretty bad. I actually like Fluster Storm, because Fluster Storm helps fight over their Force of Wills. I think Narset's kind of bad. <clears throat> because they can just replace Dredging with Narset. I guess Narset is good after you've utilized your graveyard. Like, after you've drawn one of your graveyard hate pieces, Narset can be good, because then you can stop them from digging deeper. Because once you get rid of their graveyard, they can't Bazaar anymore. Hmm. Misstep is probably sketchy, right? Misstep's only good against therapy. I'll cut the misstep. Probe out? Yeah, we could cut Probe and just keep the Fluster Storms and the Narset. It's probably fine. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, we have to mulligan to hate. You're not allowed to keep... I mean, this hand sucks anyways, but you're not allowed to keep a hand without hate. Oh, they kept seven? Jeez. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this one. I think I shipped the red in six. Highest upside if I draw a red source. Maybe I ship the time walk, actually. And I, I know it's like, the time walk is worse if I don't find a red source, but like... The Ren plus Pesaju is almost a hard lock. I mean, it's slow, though. Nah, alright, I changed my mind. I'll put back the Ren. Ship up a Seiju. Wait, what? What the fuck did they keep? Uh... I mean, I kind of want to get the Lantern into play. Alright, go. Maybe they just kept, like, a hand that had all answers and no... And no Bizarre. That'd be very weird, though. <laughs> Looks like that's what they did. <clears throat> They're just going to discard the natural way. I think I time walk into Oko, honestly. I'm just going to play Oko. Let's get the pressure going. Oh, no, because I have to play the Basaju. All right, I'll just do this then. Kind of dicey if they have Force of Vigor, but I can, now I can just Fluster Storm the Force of Vigor. Right. Yeah, if they force, I'll fight. I don't know how they're beating Double Soul Guide, Ravidus Trap, Fluster Storm. Uh, sure, that's fine. They still have to. Oh, I guess now they can have Force. Because they just take Fluster Storm and then force to figure the Lanterns. But then they have to still beat the Ravidus Trap. It took Fluster Storm. So that, I think, means they have Force of Vigor. But then we still have the Ravenous Trap, so. Honestly, if they Force of Vigor me, I might just draw two cards. Yeah, I'll just draw two cards. I don't care about the one stupid thing. Okay. Uh, Delta Pass, I think? Go. Now we can just go Orchard Oath next turn. Pog. Go. 
We can protect with Force of Will. <clears throat> what a set that's time walking to Oko. Yeah, I know, right? Powerful format. Time walk into Oko. Alright, I don't know what they kept, but they kept the pro probably a sketchy hand. Yeah, I don't know what they kept. I guess they they probably kept, like, Force of Vigor, Force of Will, Grief? But just, like, no Bazaar? I, I don't really understand why they would keep a hand like that. Alright, round number three of Vintage. We are one and one. Mm. This hand's kind of weird. It does have Force of Will. And Ren Wasteland. We have to find a colored source of mana. Let's do it. I'm in. Am I feeling about this guy coming in the mail? We 4-1 our first league. And now we're 0-2 after we made changes. So I guess we should have just not made changes? It's a good deck for sure. It's definitely it's a very, very, very powerful proactive strategy. Which I like. Okay, I'm not going to force a Mox. Are they playing... Oh my god, they're playing Mono Red Prison? Sadly enough, I think I have to force this. Obviously, this is the one matchup where Wasteland is atrocious. Um... I can't wait if this resolves, right? Alright. Force Pitch Force. I'm pitching Force in case I draw a Mox. Uh, I guess we have an answer to Blood Moon. Not Magus, though. Classic. Classic Mono Red. Uh, this cantrips, so I guess I'll cast it. Do I want to shuffle anything back? Shuffle this land back. I mean, I guess I'll just shuffle the force back too, right? Like, force of wheel is still a good draw, I think. <sighs> That's a banger. That is a banger. So we just have to dodge Magus of the Moon, exactly. Because we have Blood Moon covered. Maybe I should have... No, if I force the Mox upkeep and they just go land Blood Moon, it's pretty bad. So I, have, I think I have to let the Mox live. The finisher just came down. Yeah, I know. The finisher... All right, my turn. They have two cards. All right, I feel pretty good about this game, chat. I guess I should wasteland them. Yeah, I guess I'll I guess I'll wasteland them. Cut them off some mana. Oath of Druids. It's there for six mana. I don't know. What else is my Wasteland doing, though? Like, if I resolve the Oath Trigger, I win the game. Okay. I would love to use this ability. Oh, hey, a Gristlebrand. Oh, hey, a Gristlebrand. All right, playing against Mono Red Prison, huh? Oh, hey, a Gristlebrand. Very nice of you to show up to the party. All right, Power Blast pretty bad against the Mono Red deck. Mm, Nature's Claim is good. Force of Vigor is good. I think Library is good, too. Veil's bad. I think Tabernacle is not great. Pretty sure they have no targets for Misstep because they're a Chalice deck. This looks pretty Gucci, right? I actually don't mind Trap because they have Petal and Moxes and Lotus. So I think Trap is better than something like a Misstep or an Alpine Moon. Even a Tabernacle. I guess Tabernacle's prop, actually. Tabernacle's decent against Rabble Master. Maybe I, maybe I actually want the Tabernacle. 
Yeah, I know, right? We kept a hand that was, like, relied on Red and Six Wasteland against our opponent who just led on Mountain Mountain. <laughs> yeah, Tabernacle is pretty good against Rebel Master. Maybe I should cut the Mind Break Trap. It's kind of sketchy. Flusterstorm is also not great. What does Flusterstorm even hit, actually? They have nothing, right? Maybe, like, keep in one Flusterstorm? Alright, that's fine. Oh, they have Pyroblast for Oko. I guess Flusterstorm does hit Pyroblast. Could have kept it in. Yeah, their, their 10 turn clock unfortunately did not get there. Uh, I mean, I have I have Force Oath plus Priority, and I have to keep. I think I can put back the second Oath. Because I don't think they have any way to kill the first Oath. Mana Crypt. That's actually a decent sign for me. Well, not if they just play two spells. Okay, I will cast Force of Will. And I guess I'll pitch Mind Break Trap. Daya's Blessing, not the best draw. Alright, I need a land. Tilt. Well, we're probably going to lose if they have another Blood Moon. I guess we have Force of Vigor, but... I don't know what this card does. The beginning of combat on your turn, you may pay one and sack an artifact. If you do, make a 3-1 haste. Card's kind of cool with Mana Crypt. <laughs> I mean, they have a bunch of, like, random shitter artifacts to sacrifice, so... It's kind of cool. Yeah, it seems insane and limited. Alright, we need a land chat. Give me a land. Land. Damn it. Uh, does it matter which one I cast? I think this looks at more cards, so I guess we'll do this. Uh, do I have time? Six, eight. Yeah, I guess I have to. Uh, I think I should... Pl uh, playing the mocks is kind of bad if they have a shatter. But it's better if they have a chalice. I'm just gonna pass. So we get a ten. <clears throat> and then we oath when we go to five. It's still actually gonna be a little dicey. Especially if we don't hit Gristlebrand. But I guess if we hit Niv, we can just kill this. And then we can go priority and kill this. The war boss. The war boss is here, chat. I actually wonder if I'd rather hit Niv now. Probably would. So I got a four? Yeah, I might rather just hit Niv here. Hit before active treason? Oh my god, imagine. <laughs> imagine if they just had... Uh, just actual threaten. You know, I mean... Uh, you know. Uh, what, what do you want from me, Chad? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? I, I don't know what to tell you. Is that a good draw step? Uh, they're at 17. Can I kill them? Oh, I can't draw with Gristlebrand. I only have five cards. All right, I'll just kill all their shit then. Oops. I will put back... Do I have a fetchable land? Uh... Oh, they don't want to play anymore. What happened? Chat, they don't want to play anymore. Um... Sand does not have Force of Will. I think I keep, though. Mm 
This game does not have enough powerful cards in it. It has one powerful card. Six. Oh, God. Well, the five. Could be playing a Bizarro Baghdad strategy. Although, the last Bizarro opponent we played against kept seven and they didn't play Bizarro in turn one, so I don't know what that's all about. That was such a weird game. I don't know. I really want to know what hand they kept. They literally just kept seven cards and just said, uh, just, they just said go. Keep seven, go. Like, uh, okay. Should I pawn or preordain? I'm looking for a very specific card, so I think I should ponder. Right? Does that make sense? Because I just want to dig deeper. Oh. Is that good enough? Force, turn two, time walk, turn three, Oko. So force pitch preordain. The problem with keeping this is like the Oko's not that good because we're going to give them a bunch of 1-1s one to attack the Oko with. So maybe what I do is keep Force, draw Misstep, and then Preordain bottom the Oko looking for Oath. I mean, either way, I think I keep the Force and the Misstep, right? Like, I think I have to keep the Force. I guess Force isn't as good if they're playing Hogak, but... Hmm. Okay, probably not Hogak. <laughs> Are they playing the Mono Red deck? Born of Amethyst. Uh, I really don't want to force this. Kind of have to, though. Pitch time walk. Force pitching Forbidden Orchard. Uh, uh, that's not allowed. That's a Black Lotus. It doesn't actually do anything? Right? I guess it's keeping it's decent if they have Blood Moon. Maybe I'm supposed to take the time walk into Oko line. But like, I play Oko and they have three 1-1s. One which is not even that good. I'm just gonna bottom both. I really just want to find Oath. Okay. Oath, 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 Oath. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Force your Blood Moon play Oath. <laughs> Alright, well. Streamer luck, they say. Streamer luck, they say. Cast that Blood Moon. Ragaban. Uh, I guess I'll step that. Pitch power nine, bottom second power nine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, you can go. Good luck. Blood Moon me now, motherfucker. These are some spicy decks out here. Yeah, we played against Mono Red Prison twice. I don't really understand. Yeah, that's fine. They just made my Orchards better, actually. 
literally just made my urchins better. Would I like to use the oath? Yeah, sure, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna ping them, because I want to keep both tokens in play. Because I want to be able to oath again. Uh, proceed. Redkin minus one, they kill the tokens, yeah. Yeah, you Orchard, give them some tokens, Oath, and then you just clear up the tokens with the Ren. It's just five head. They attack for two, I'll just take two. They should attack. No? Just don't want to attack? Alright, right, how about we some Brand? Uh, I'm still going to go upstairs. Is this lethal? Oops. I'm going to 11, so I need to play 6 spells. Of course I draw the Mox Ruby when they have Blood Moon. Fire Blaster Blood Moon. <laughs> nine. Uh, Alright, I can't kill them. Attack you for five. Oh, God. Discard. I don't know. Run in six. Guy's Blessing. Sure. Alright, proceed. Love the colors of creature mana in play. Yeah, triple blue, triple red, quad black. No big deal. <laughs> Alright, mono red. Let's get these pyroblasts and these veils out of here. Last time I cut Flusterstorm, but I think it's actually good because they have pyroblast, I think. So force, sylvan, claim. We want a tabernacle for rabble master. Uh, I think MBT is bad. And then I also think Misstep is bad. I don't know. They have Ragavan, though. Eh, all right. You know what? Fuck these Fluster Storms. I guess we'll do one Misstep, one Fluster. Yeah, I think that's fine. This Fluster is only good against exactly Pyroblast. It's pretty embarrassing against everything else. Uh, well, this hand beats Blood Moon and has Ancestral, so I think I keep. Sure. <clears throat> Ancient Tomb. Got a Wasteland for that one. We have a Chalice. Oh. Uh... They have four cards. I think I'm going to slow roll the force to try and get a second piece of uh, a second piece of stuff. Yeah, let's just go Delta Pass. I think this is fine. Because then if they deploy a second thing to force, I can just go Force, Pitch, Blessing, Fetch, Recall. Okay. It's a good card. It is a good card. So I think what I want to do is response, force, pitch, blessing, crack, fetch, recall to try and find force of will for this. Because I could hit force of will. And if I draw force, I'll just force pitch in our set. Get drop. Mm -hmm. Pretty good one too. Not a bad one. So here I am. A three ball. All right, so we get a sixteen. Mm -hmm. 
Now the question is, do I Oath or do I Wasteland? I think I just probe them first, see what's up. It's a really good one, because that actually gets the player on Cage, too. Let's probe first. Their hand is Ragavan Thorn. Oh, so we can just do everything. Not quite everything. I mean, I could just go... Yeah, let's just go Wasteland you. Play Lotus. Cast both. All right, you can go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lugia is really nice. That card is really, really good. And now, even if they draw a cage, we have that covered because we have force. They hit a Ragavan. Okay. So, we go to 10. I'm cool with going to 10. Cool with that. Mm, yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, they still have Ragavan Thorn. I would like to activate my Oath of Druids. Hit Crystal Brand. Now we have to be a little bit careful because we don't have the um, we don't have the Gaia's Blessing, so we could technically deck out. So we got to be a little bit careful of that. <sighs> Although she gets plus one for every single card off Cascade. Wait, is that how that works? Oh, that's nuts. So if you have a Lyulia and you cascade your entire library away, it will get like 40 plus one plus one counters. Is that really how that works? That's actually insane. What do you think, chat? Should I Oath here? I feel like I shouldn't Oath. Like, I don't need to. It's just like a way to lose a game that I probably can't lose. Yeah, I think I'm just not going to Oath. Mm, if I attack and pay... Mm, I mean, I'm just going to win the race, right? Like, what if I just attack for seven and then... Don't pay life. Seven, fourteen. Go to sixteen, play orchard, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nah, you know what? Attacking is kind of stupid. <laughs> I'm just gonna play Oko. Why am I attacking? I can't lose if I just do nothing, right? Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing anything. I'm just gonna pass. Doesn't one or more mean you can't you don't cascade for infinite? What do you mean? Whenever one or more cards are put into your graveyard, put a plus one plus one counter. Oh, because it's all one instance of it? Yeah, no, you're probably right. Is it really? Oh, because you're flipping one by one? Is that how that works? That's actually kind of insane. We're attacking. Uh, okay. I will declare a block. Block skis. They have like a bolt or something? I guess they made a bolt. I don't know. Okay, battle's fine. Maybe they feel like they're inclined to... Yeah, I mean, I guess they just feel forced to draw a card there. 
There's no way they can win. Um, yeah, I'll try and find force. All right, put some brain down. I drew the Niv too, but it's it's fine. It doesn't really matter. I can just hard cast Niv, right? Yeah, I have enough to hard cast Niv. <clears throat> and their hand is still Thorn plus. Yeah, their hand is still Thorn plus um, Ragavan. So they're gonna play Thorn here. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Oh, they're gonna kill. Okay, I guess that makes sense too. Uh, always no. Do not want to use the oath. Besiege you, huh? One, two, three, five. Yeah, so we just go make a food. Play Niv. Blue, 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 red, red. Cast Niv. You may proceed. You ever just hard cast a Niv Mizzet before? You ever just hard cast Niv Mizzet chat? <laughs> Are we done here, or what? I mean, I guess we could play it out, but... I feel like, I feel like we're in the Doom Garbage time. I have seen Garbage Time before, and this is what it looks like. Eat, sleep, and breathe garbage time. That's why the card is so good in Legacy Rhinos. So is that really how it works? That's actually insane. With Cascade, each card is one by one sequentially moved from your library to exile the yellow trigger through a image. That's so sick, dude. That's so sick. It's actually cracked. What's the origin of my name, Doomwake? Uh, it all started at PT Journey into Nyx when Doomwing Giant was released, and I opened it in, I think, like, three straight drafts. We were, like, doing testing drafts on Magic Online, and I opened it, like, three times in a row. So that's where it came from. I guess I'll just kill all their shit. I appreciate that my opponent's still playing. <sighs> Alright, I want to leave them with a token, because I don't want them to Oath. What the hell is this? Uh, sure. Okay. Yes, time walk. Trigger. <laughs> You never know. I mean, they're they're drawing heavy. Could literally be anything. They're drawing really heavy here. Could be anything, chat. Could could be anything. They're drawing so heavy. <laughs> I'm sure they have a card in their deck that gets them out of this. Hmm. All right, no. Uh, pay. Pay. Upstairs. Do I have a strip mine that I can get back with Ren and Six? Just to, like... Yes, I do, Pog. Let's go. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. Look, man, if they're not going to scoop, then, you know, whatever. I'm going to do my thing, okay? 
Just saying. All right, attack you for eight. Oh, no, no, no. Attack with the food is bad because they can trigger oath. All right, attack for five. It doesn't matter. Just you're dead. You're dead. Have you played any more Demure Kitchen, by the way? Deck looks sweet. I actually recorded a YouTube video with it. Wait, don't scoop. I want to force really permanent. No! Damn it! I can't. I always, I always like instinctively want to f eight, but you don't want to f eight when you're playing vintage. Uh. If Pyroblast is good, this hand is good. I think I should keep. Catch <laughs> baited. Hey, what does the title say? Does the title say vintage? Oh, but it's Pioneer first. Okay. Let's delete the Pioneer part then. Here, I won't debate you anymore. No more debating. Title updated. <laughs> Wait, Wasteland's in Pioneer? Wait, what? Oath of Druid's also in Pioneer? What is happening? What is happening? Come on, just YOLO Ancestral into my Power Blast. You know you want to. You know you want to. Just YOLO it. Yeah, they're just going to fetch basics, though. They're definitely just going to fetch basics, yeah, obviously. Oddly enough, I kind of want to Pyroblast this, because I want to tap out for my next turn anyways. Yeah, I'm just going to blast this. It feels kind of weird, but I want to do it. Mostly just because I want to tap out next turn. <clears throat> or we just draw Orchard and slam Oath. I don't think there's a reason to play Oath here. Because if they're playing like the Tempo deck and they just have Ragavan, they just dash Ragavan. Like, they're not actually going to put the Ragavan into play. I don't want to do it alone. Waste is a basic, so there's... Wastelands in every format. True. Uh, well, no, that's not necessarily true. You can't you can't play waste in, in standard, bro. Broski. Okay. I would like to draw Forbidden Orchard. I mean, Narset's pretty good. Probe me. Dude. What if I don't want to get probed? Ooh. Perfect draw step. Perfect draw step. I guess I could have wastelanded there, which maybe would have been better than jamming this, but... It's pretty high upside to just jam this. It's a basic, though. That part is true. It is a basic. Why are we not wasting them? Because they're playing a blue deck. I just want to fucking Narset them. <laughs> Maybe that was wrong. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, uh, I'm willing to admit that that might have been a bad play. Big Red, thank you for the two months. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. See, you didn't want a Narset. They just ancestral Alright, let's uh, preordain. Uh, bottom, top. I should probably play the Oath first. They're on days a little bit. Although, if they dazed, I probably just wouldn't pay. They have Gush. 
Go. Probably would have worked out a lot better for me if I had just wasted. <clears throat> they pitched Shredder. Yeah, they pitched Shredder. I think this would have been a little bit better if I had wasted. I got a little greedy. Like, I mean, if the Narset resolves, I probably win the game, but... It was greedy for sure. Took a high risk, high reward line. Three of a kind wins, kind of. The question is, do I wasteland them or do I orchard? I probably just orchard, right? Because we're actually guaranteed to hit Gristlebrand. Because we know that uh, we know that the. Um, we know that Nivis in the bottom because we prioritized it and we didn't shuffle after that. Hmm. We have seven cards, huh? I think I'd plow Gristlebrand. Then I could just draw seven in response, right? I guess I could also just go Wasteland, play Second Oath, hold up Pyroblast. Maybe that's better. Yeah, I'll buy that. <laughs> Connor man, thank you for the 16 months. I don't know if you want to know how much Ledger Shredder costs. <laughs> 16 months, dude. That's crazy, man. Appreciate you, buddy. Hope you're having a good day today. Alright, go. This plays around, like, Prismatic Ending or some shit. I don't know. I guess if they have heading, they're going to kill the Red Six. <laughs> Can they just not kill this card? Are they just like stone cold dead to it? Uh, I mean... I think I can afford to plus it one more time, right? Like, I think now I just go uptick on the Misty, play Orchard Pass. Nope. No, I'll just wait one more turn. Hull Breacher. Let's get rid of that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. Guess I should ult it, huh? I got greedy. I wanted to keep it in play for a turn. <clears throat> got greedy yet again. I mean, I got greedy twice this game. <laughs> game I probably couldn't have lost if I just wasn't greedy, but... You know, sometimes you get greedy. It's fine. I don't really care about that. Mm, there's no reason to orchard. Wait, I can orchard here, right? Yeah, because it checks on resolution. So I should orchard EOT, but it's fine. Because now I can just kill the uh, the whole breacher. Right? Plowing the gristle brand. I don't think I care. Because I just go draw a card, ping this, ping this with the ren. I mean, obviously, I can't draw cards now. I draw cards to get to get treasure tokens. So. Okay, ping your homie. Ping your homie. 
uh, waste you. And then ship it. Yeah, waste ship it. Live another day. Live another day. What did I drop from the modern challenge when I was 0-2? <laughs> when I when I lost two matches and I won zero. Oh, yeah, they're saying... They said they're not smart. They should have killed Niv. Yes, they should have definitely killed Niv. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't kill Niv. They 100% should have killed Niv. Like, the Gristlebrite doesn't do anything if they keep the Hull Breacher. The Hull, Hull Breacher. Uh, I guess I'll ping the token... No, I want to leave the token in play, because I don't want them to trigger Oath. I'm just going to fluster this. Alright, fluster that, draw a card, ping you, game's over. Uh, ping you. Reading resolves. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we would have been in a much worse spot if they if they just plowed the nib instead of the gristle brand. <laughs> they went bottom top though. Okay, so I guess they found another plow. Oh, they have crews. Guess I'll blast the crews. Guess I will blast the crews. They have conceded from the game. Cool. Alright, blue-white stuff. Blue-white appears to be mostly fair cards. Uh, trap bad, moon bad, veil good. Sylvan good. I think force is not great. Claim is probably not great. I think Trap is fine in Counter Wars. I think all these cards are good. I think I like this. Let's go. I heckin' love Flusterstorm. How come I'm not on Ember Clive and seen an Oath deck in years? I just copied Miharu. The thing is, like, with Gristlebrand and Niv, you just don't need to put, like... Embercle also just loses to Karakas. Whereas, like, at least with Niv... You kind of get, like, with Niv and Gristlebraid, you kind of get something out of it if they have Karakas. So it's like, yeah, Embercle's so bad against Karakas. It's mostly the answer. But, like, Niv's also a blue card that you can pitch to force, stuff like that. Yeah, I, I hard cast Niv in round four. Sometimes you just hard cast Niv. Gristlebrand less often, like, you need. Actually, you literally. No, no, you have. You can go Lotus Orchard to hard cast Gristlebrand, but. Justin plays a lot of Archon. I mean, Archon's probably fine, too, but, like, I don't know. The problem with Archon is, like, it, Archon doesn't really do anything against the combo decks. Like, Dredge doesn't care about Archon, for the most part. It, you're, like, you're not racing Dredge with Archon. They can deal so much damage. So, like, I don't really think Archon's that good against the combo decks. Protection from your choice, Angel. Oh, Sarah's Emissary? That one's probably... Like, there's probably some sideboard threats that you could, like, change it up post-board in certain matchups, but... Yeah, it's gonna get shops, too. Uh, they molt to six. I'm gonna keep this hand. I don't think they're a Wasteland. Oh, no, they showed us Wasteland. Alright, maybe this is dicey if they have Wasteland. They went to five, though. Pog. It's hard to mull double force cantrip time walk. It's like, it's really hard to mull this hand. It's risky, but...
Box Pearl resolves. If they have Shredder, do I force it? Probably, right? I'll be force pitch time walk. Maybe Narset. Wait, wait. Stoneforge Mystic. I mean, I guess I have to force that one. You know, I'll just pitch Narset, I think. <clears throat> it's a lot of damn forces. No, I want to keep the second force. Good draw. Honestly, I kind of want to just go Flooded Strand Pass. Plays around Wasteland, too. Yeah, I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to chill. What's up, Esponda? calling me. Oh, is my food here? Hello. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, bye. Chat, food's here. Be right back. Can I get a Poggers in the chat for food? Let's go. Alright. My turn. Containment Priest. How much do I care about this? I think this is fine. I think what I want to do is just let this resolve and time walk. And then go from there. I think I'm going to let this go. Z set. Pog. Yeah, let's just time walk. Right now. Set, set. Sound like a fair tree to me. Now if I draw on land, I can just slam Oko. Easy. Oko with force backup. Food. Go. Mm -hmm. Oko takes two damage. Ledger Shredder, huh? I think that's okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's fine. I think I slam counter that, really. I don't know. I think it's okay. Does one damage that becomes an elk. Well, it's awkward because if I make it an elk, it's a 4 4. So I don't really want to elk this. <clears throat> Chat wanted me to counter it, huh? I mean, I guess if I just counter this and make an elk, the. Uh, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right, Chat. 
Yeah, because I can't really elk this now, right? It's kind of awkward. Uh, but what I can do is brainstorm. So let's brainstorm. Try to find, like, an oath. Find a wasteland. And a pyroblast. Which is pretty good. So now we can just put back... Veil Lotus. Then we get to go Elk the Food. Waste your Tundra. And then upkeep Pyroblast to not trigger the Shredder. And then we still have Force Backup. Pretty sure this game is over. Alright, here we go. Food. Uh, play the Lotus to Hardcast Force. Which means I guess we can also preordain. It's kind of a free roll. Uh, bottom, bottom. I will save the Ponder, I think. I'll start attacking next turn. <clears throat> Opponent discarded misstep. Yeah, they did. They done discarded misstep. Alright, elk that. Play a Ponderosa. I will keep all of those. Uh, no. I want to see if they found Force Blue Card. Force Fluster Storm Shredder. Mm. Alright, we'll wait a turn then. Honestly, let's get really aggressive here. Yeah, I should have played my land, but whatever. <coughs> Oath, not really good. I guess that's also a good point. Yeah, Oath's not great here. So, their hand is Force of Will Fluster Storm. Alright, I'll hard guest. Let's see if they want to fight back. They do, which is fine. They have no cards. They get to wasteland their tundra. Deal. Can we just steal the shredder? Uh, no, because we're missing an artifact, right? Oh, we have the emerald. So now I can go emerald, steal the shredder. And then Wasteland. I'm actually not going to play the Oath. Because I don't want the... Well, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Because they can't trigger it anyways. Easy. L. Uh, it's hard to mulligan a hand with Ancestral Recall. So we keep... I think this might be a situation where I do it on their upkeep. Right? Just go like Mox Recall Upkeep. Or Land Mox Pass Upkeep Ancestral to play on Force Negation. Yeah, I'm going to play around Force. Let's go, Mox. <clears throat> Seems like they're F6, but I'm going to play around Force Negation just in case. Post a link to the match we just watched so I can watch the rest later. Uh, ooh. That's not good. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Chad, I think we're dead. I feel like we're dead. Let me grab a link. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, you have a ring. Not the best ancestral. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So we need to draw Oath. Need to draw the Oath card. It's fine. Oath. Oath, 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 please. Oath. 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 Doesn't really accomplish that much. I guess I'm gonna wasteland them. I still have four mana. Does wastelanding them do anything? Yeah, I guess it's fine. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, pretty bad Ancestral. Not gonna say the Keep was bad, but just a bad Ancestral. Keep was definitely fine. I'm not gonna mulligan Force Ancestral Mox Wasteland. Just bricked in the Ancestral. That was the worry about Wastelanding. Because now, even if I draw... Uh, even if I draw Oath, I'm two turns away from casting it. But I can just go Flooded Strand Pass, so it's not the worst. So hazy. This thing's Crew 2, right? Okay. Yeah. It's not that bad, because we have a Pesaju for it. Wait, why didn't they crew the hearse? They should have crewed the hearse, right? Okay. Which lane did they get rid of? They got rid of Volcanic. Alright, let's go Trop Go. With the intention of killing this. Guess I should have main phase killed the Nettle Cyst. Oh no, they're gonna do this. Okay, this is better. Right, let's get Trop. <coughs> Seed you the Nettle Cyst. I mean, if we draw Oath right now, so we get a 10 play Oath. It's gotta be like right now, okay? Uh, yeah, that plays. I think I'll play out the Orchard. Just in case they somehow, like, Ballista try to kill their own Revoker. Then I can just Orchard. So now we go to 5. If they have a creature, we can potentially go to 3. I really need to hit uh, Gristlebrand, though, because I can't afford to trade Niv for this. So I kind of have to hit Gristlebrand to be able to block the, the hearse. Okay, that shouldn't matter. That shouldn't matter at all. <coughs> I don't think it does. Maybe it matters if I hit... Um... Well, actually, no, because even if I hit Niv, I can still kill the Revoker, which means they can't crew the hearse, potentially. Right? But if I kill the Revoker, they get to... How much do I care if they get to Oath? Like, what's the worst possible thing they could Oath into? If they oh, they can still crew. Well, they can crew either way, right? <clears throat> like, if I kill the Revoker, they Oath, and then they can just crew anyways. So it doesn't actually prevent them from crewing. They're going to crew no matter what. <laughs> can I just give them a spirit? Oh, sure, I can kill the Revoker and then give them a spirit. Yeah, okay, that's way better. Yeah, so I just kill the Revoker and give them a spirit. Yeah, you're right, that's good. 
Yep, 100%. That's good. I could Pyroblast now, just to try and find... Yeah, just like Pyroblast some random card. Just to draw a card. I'm going to ping them, obviously. Basically just cycling my Pyroblast. I kind of want to fluster my own Pyroblast. I could probably hold it for a Force of Will, though. All right, you can go. So if they draw anything that crews the hearse... I guess I can't Oath now, though, right? Is the awkward part. Yeah, but I can Oath next turn. Which is fine. So we just go land go. Okay, whatever. Uh, land go. I have to hold this back to potentially chump block the hearse. But, yeah. We can just go EOT, give them a token, get Bristlebrand, kill a token. Well, we didn't have to kill the token. Uh, I just take this, right? Block and make another, but then I can't get Gristlebrain to play. I think I really want the Gristlebrain. I'm just going to take this. I'll cycle the Bailey OT. Let's go make a green. I'm an addict for dramatics. I confuse the two for love. Liar. If we're keeping score. Think about cycling or fetching the strand now. Well, I know I still have fetchable. Well, yeah, well, I know I still have fetchables. There's not really much of a difference between four and three, so. And arrogance. Sure. I mean, I guess now I'm in a spot where I kind of have to chump block, right? It's actually kind of awkward. This might have been bad. Now that I think about it, this might have been bad. I mean, I guess I just chump block with the Niv and keep the Gristle Brand? I think? This is awkward, isn't it? Now kill the token? What's the point of killing the token? Because they just get to flip into something to crew the hearse anyways, right? They're going to trigger the oath for dogs. Whatever they get off of the oath is just going to crew the hearse. <clears throat> right? Wait, how big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, wait, I just double block. I just double block. What am I saying? I just double block this thing if they attack. Yeah, I 100% just double block. <laughs> Could also kill token, create new token for them in response to the oath trigger. Still lets them crew, but it means token is summoning sick. Why does it matter if the token is summoning sick? Okay, well, I think this is a good trade for me. I think this means we win the game. Yeah, they're, they're dead. <coughs> Just gonna force whatever this is. Snake! Uh, Hardcast? 
And I'll just pitch. All right, my turn. Draw! All right, they're off it. Let's go. Last time I tuned in, Doom was the one in the challenge. Yeah, I haven't lost since. How many oath targets do I have? Just the Niv and the Gristlebrand. Just two. Yeah, that double block was so good for me. I feel, I feel like they maybe should have waited until they could have made it a 13-13. Because I'm in this weird holding pattern, right? Where I, like, I can't really attack... Because if I attack, then I have to chump block with one of my giant idiots. So I think they maybe were supposed to just, like, not attack there. Yeah, I think they should have waited, too. <clears throat> they have a deck full of zero zeros. That's true. I guess they could hit, like, uh, Stone Coil Serpent, Walking Ballista. They have Bricks. Right, they do have bricks. Is Alpine not even good? I guess it's good against Sokka. Tab's good. I gotta cut two cards. I think I like Mindbreak Trap. It's really good against their... Um... Oh yeah, we just cut Buster Star. Right? This, this... Yes. <clears throat> is it me or do I seem to get bad matchups more often your first match in challenges? No, I could that that's probably about right. They just want me to stop playing after round one. <clears throat> if I attack with both, they die. Show some gristle and they'll steal seven extra. Oh, true, you're right. Tab seems awful. Why is Tab bad? They have, like, they're the aggressive shops deck. Like, maybe it's not great against Ravager specifically, because they can, like, sack all their shitters and, you know. But, like, they have a lot of creatures. Their deck is, like, Ravager, Stone Coil, Nettle Cyst. The cool thing about, about Tabernacle is they can't pay for it with Workshop, too. <sighs> well... <clears throat> You know what they say about keeping a hand without force of will against shops? Especially against an opponent who kept seven. I think if this hand had a mox, I would keep. Without a mox, it's a little dicey. What a mulligan. Easy keep. It's called this aquatic. This hand is nuts. Actually cracked. <clears throat> you keep for sure? No, you can't. On the draw against shops, an opponent who kept seven, you can't keep that hand. Your own house. Well, shit. Here we are, chat. I guess I have to force the saga in the jet. Because I literally can't win if I don't cast the, the force here. I think I keep the oath. Happens all the time. The one sphere? Yeah, I know, right? The Uno sphere. Ah, oh, they have the ancient tomb too? Oh. So they named Lotus. <clears throat> See blue sky getting caught in the trail of rolling smoke. They did, in fact, name Lotus. The question is, do I waste or do I just play towards Oath? Oh, God, I feel like I have to waste. If I don't waste and they just have, like, any... Ugh. 
Like, imagine I don't waste and they just play Cage. I think I have to waste. Or, like, if I don't waste and they just waste me. Yeah, I'm just gonna waste. Like, imagine a situation where I don't waste and they just go, like, play hit or waste me. Right. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit, dude. The draw was so fucking good. Yeah. Okay. Land. Seven, we go to four. Yeah, nothing else. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Alright, we're on the play, it's mine. Can't lose in the play. Play first. Hmm. Turn one oath. But we have no force of will. Eh! I think I'm in, right? This hand's kind of sketchy if they have cage. Alright, I'm keeping it. <clears throat> I guess it's awkward because this hand doesn't have a, a way to give them a creature. But, like, what are they going to do? Just not play creatures? <laughs> I mean, obviously, if they have cage, this is bad. We have a lot of outs to cage. Okay. Ren's actually nuts. Because you have Basaju, Strip Mine, and Wasteland. Ren's really good in Vintage. That's totally fine with me. I'm just going to play Ren and Six. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Alright. I guess we're not going to play Ren and Six now. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. I just need to brainstorm and try to find Forbidden Orchard. <clears throat> what does Oath do if Cage is out? <laughs> Oath has no text if Cage is out. It just doesn't do anything. Alright, whatever, dude. Uh, I think I get Trop here. Those are not the cards we are looking for. <clears throat> you mill out and the creature on top? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you still mill, but it's just the creature doesn't get put into play. Ah, them having the hearse was so bad, because I needed to be able to save the fetch land for Brainstorm. But, like, I just couldn't play Ren on turn 2 because they had the hearse. And now I'm Brainstorm locked. And I can't Oath for another two turns. And they can just get a- they can just get a fucking cage with Saga. Yeah, I think we're- I think we lose this game. Because they're just gonna get cage with Saga. They can play the Sapphire. It just doesn't matter, like, what is- what- what, are, what is our- what is our plan here? We can't win. You wanted to play Foresight? You wanted to hold up Force? It just, it just doesn't matter. We can't win. We had a good run, chat. Had a good run. Opponent drew a little bit better than we did. I mean, that's just what Shops is, right? 
live by the shop, die by the shop. Either you draw like shit and you can't possibly win, or you draw like our opponent and can't possibly lose. It is what it is. Wait, they didn't get cage? So you're saying there's a chance? I guess they didn't have cage. I don't know. They're casting a stone coil serpent? I don't give a fuck about that. I have nature's claim. Alright, we need to hit Gristlebrand. We need to hit Gristlebrand. Gristlebrand, please. Crystal Brand. Okay, okay. That kind of works. So I get to go ping you. <clears throat> Almost sarcastic said we should have played the second oath. Yeah, I guess I could have double oathed here. So they have one card left. What if I main phase Force of Vigor, kill the Stone Coil and the Construct so they can't crew the hearse? And then just no block on the other Construct. I guess that's awkward because I can't oath again, but I have to do that anyways, right? <clears throat> oh wait, I don't care if they crew this. Right? I don't care if they crew this because I have a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, I can run back the Orchard, which lets me oath again after I kill both of these. So now we just pass. I think we might be okay. I think we actually might be okay. Copium. The hell is this? The fuck are they casting? That doesn't matter. Okay. Break it down so badly. Well, we're going to get to eat the hearse for free. And then I guess we take seven. We go to four. Okay. My turn. Oath you. Yes. Uh, upstairs. Wait, how do I beat the Stone Coil Serpent now? Hmm, how do we beat the Stone Quill Serpent? <laughs> Besaju? Did I hit a Besaju? I don't think I hit a Besaju. I did not hit a Besaju. Hmm. Is it lethal? So I gained 7. I go to 11, and 17 minus 7 is 10. It's not technically lethal. Right? Alright, I'm gonna ping them. Yeah, Priyodin can find Besaju. And I get, what, three looks at it? So I got a pre in. Upstairs. Let's go! 
I'm going to main phase it because I want to run it back. Plus on Beseju. Let's play Orchard. Oh, we lose to Ballista. Maybe I should have wastelanded their academy. We actually do lose to Ballista here. Right? I have to give them a token now so they can't attack with it. Or so they can't... Um, I don't want them bothing. All right, don't try Ballista. Would I have still been dead to Ballista if I if I wasted the Academy? Three, six, eight, ten. Yeah, I still would have been dead to Ballista. Let's go! Let's go! When the die roll feels good, man. Play first. Um... Okay, I'm not tanking about keeping. I'm tanking about what to do on turn one. I think I'm just gonna go land go. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play land go for a little bit. I'm actually gonna lead on volcanic because I don't think breach plays wasteland. But I don't want to have to fetch volcanic if I power blast on one. Dak Feogen. Dak Feogen. Yeah, I'm going to lean on Volcanic Pass. I'm not going to play Preordain. Like, I don't know what I'm looking for with Preordain. And I'm hopefully just going to go Oath uh, Fluster on three. Ideally. Like, I think what, what my plan is this game is my plan is to go, like, turn one... Maybe Pyro Blast, maybe not. Turn 2, Preordain, Hold Up Blast. Turn 3, Oath with Buster Storm up. That's my plan. But I just, like, I don't know what I want to Preordain for, so I'm going to wait until turn 2, basically. I think waiting until turn 2 is good. <laughs> Topping with Oath. I mean, Mihara does it every single week, so... Like, I just copied Mihara's list, and obviously it's good. The opponent's turn will consist of playing the entire Power 9. In sequential order. Oh, this is a bit Mihara's been playing Tinker. No, I literally copied a deck list from him from last week. Maybe it was two weeks ago. Yeah, it was two weeks ago. But I literally copied a deck list from him. <laughs> uh, okay. Black Lotus Force of Will, huh? <clears throat> Could just take Lotus and Jam Oath. If I take Lotus Jam Oath, I only have one and a half protection up, right? So I can go Lotus, Orchard, Oath. I crack the Lotus for green, right? Well, I guess I crack it for blue, tap the Orchard for green, play Oath with two blue floating, and then I'd have Fluster Storm Misstep. Which I think is good enough. I think that's good enough, right? But I could also wait a turn and have Force Backup. Slash Pirate Blast. Uh, they have six cards. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go for it with Fluster Mist Up Up. 
I guess if I'm going to go for it, I might as well just bottom the forest, right? No, because it's still good to draw after. No, 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 I should bottom it. Yeah, yeah, bottom top. This is so risky, but so fucking risky. Is it better crack for red? No, because I think it's easier for them to beat Pyroblast than it is for them to beat Flusterstorm. Right? Like, if I crack for red and float Pyroblast, I go, let's say they go Force. They Force, I Blast, they misstep. Whereas if they Force, I Fluster, they can't misstep the Fluster. Right? So this plays around misstep. Forever deja vu. Let this move. And this is still kind of cracked because we still have misstep back up. They like draw ancestral or something. <clears throat> Can I recommend any streamers that play vintage? Mm, Justin. Definitely not Ganister. Anybody but Canister. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's the reason for tapping Archer now and not in their EOT. Because I could have double blue up, so I could hard cast misstep. Maybe it's not that relevant, but that was the thinking behind it. Yeah, no shot. Think I didn't have it? Of course I fucking had it! Think I'm just not gonna have it? Of course. Of course I have it all. And I hit the Gristle brand. <laughs> Just fucking ship it. Just ship it. Mm. Now where do we go? Um... Trying to think of what the worst that could happen is. I think I just like pass. I guess I could brainstorm main phase to try and find time walk. Did I mill the time walk? I did not mill the time walk. Ah, uh, I could also just save the brainstorm for like storm count for fluster storm. I kind of want to just pass. Like, I, I'm just, I'm just gonna say go. <laughs> Discard the guy's blessing, I think. <clears throat> I left Pepe on screen. No, I know I did. I know he's he's our mascot for today. He's gonna help us get to the finals. What happened to Archon Emissary? Just Mark Russell Brands? I don't know. This is Miharu's like preferred uh, preferred setup. Do I care if they get Needle? I mean, if they get Needle, they're going to name Gristle Brand, so... Yeah, it's fine. Do you want to say Blessing for Vigor? Mm. I guess that's a reason to brainstorm main phase. Because I'd rather find another card to discard so I can save a green card for Force. I could have also just discarded Ponder. I want to save the Brainstorm so I can put Niv back. I want to go, like, EOT, Brainstorm, put Niv back, and then Oath again. That's that. That's my plan. You know, hundred percent force the Mox and Saga. What if they get Cage though? Oh, I guess if I force the Saga, they can't get Cage. I don't really think it matters at this point. I think it's mostly relevant. Uh, uh top, top. I can't possibly imagine we lose this game.
I cast Time Walk. Are you dead? You look very dead, opponent. You look exceptionally dead. So, play it out, or... Alright, that was... That was easy. That was easy. So, playing against Breach. What do you want against Breach? A oh, Lanthorn's good against them, right? Force is okay. Claim is, like, kind of okay. What's bad? I don't really have any bad cards, right? Like, none of my cards are bad against them. They're all kind of bangers. I need help, chat. What should I cut? Cards are all so good. What do you think, chat? What would you cut? Trim Ren. Ren's kind of slow. I can see that. Yeah, trim the Ren the Yokos. Because my game plan is probably not going to revolve around those cards. Because they're a little bit slower. I can see that. How good is Force of Vigor? I feel like it's decent. But I could be convinced to cut it. Look good that game. Yeah, they are a Saga deck, so I probably should have it in my deck. Maybe shave the Mind Break Trap. The problem is we just have too many good cards. I guess that's a good problem to have. So this is no lanterns. I mean, I don't know if I need the lanterns. <clears throat> they are kind of mediocre. I'm just going to do this. Uh, fuck the lanterns. Do I want Alpine Moon? Uh, maybe? Kind of like all my other cards. Cut the probe, maybe? Nah, uh, the probe's free real estate. I don't know, Alpine Moon's okay, but, like, if I have three Force of Vigor, two Wasteland, and a, and a Strip Mine, I'm not that worried about Saga, right? Think I can trim a Force of Will? Really? I guess maybe in the post-board games, Force is a little worse, but... Like, you also just, you have to have Force for, for Breach every single time. Although it is a little bit worse against Saga, so, like, I understand that, but... Yeah, it's just too many high impact cards. There's too many bangers. Got up in the moment. We all got issues, but we cut from the same cloth. Mm. Yeah. The sand is really good. I mean, there's no force of will, but the sand is really good. There's no shot they're playing Wasteland, right? There's no chance they have Wasteland. Not from the same cloth. Yep. Ooh, they multi six. Please don't open on ancestral. Please don't open on ancestral. Or play around force negation. 
Well, I guess they plan on force negation to do it on my upkeep, but... Just don't open Ancestral. That's all I ask. That's all I want. I don't care what the rest of your hand is, just don't open Ancestral. Although, I guess I don't want their hand to be, like... Lotus Breach, Brain Freeze. That's probably bad for me, too. Okay. Just don't turn one me, bro. <laughs> Just don't open any vintage cards, yeah. Well, to be fair, I didn't open any vintage cards. I don't really think Strip Mine counts as a vintage card. You think it does? I guess Oko, but like, come on. Oko is not even a good vintage card. It's like a passable vintage card. <clears throat> Oko, Oath Strip Mine. Those don't count. I'm talking like broken cards, like zero mana cards. Come on, man. Or Ancestral. No, Oath is definitely not legacy legal. Rightfully so. So I mean power nine? Sure, 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 sure. Oh, should be legacy legal? Come on, man. You have some bad takes, but there's bad takes and then there's oath and legacy takes. Demonic Tutor! Hey, what's up, Ed? Everybody say hi, Ed. Hi, Ed. This is not good for me. Am I literally dying on turn one? You gotta be shitting me, dude. No shot, dude. No shot. They actually went for it, too. What the fuck, man? Okay, I guess. Word. That was cool. That was fun. All right, game three, I guess. <clears throat> they didn't recall, at least. True, they didn't recall. Keep. I don't even know that they physically could have won that last game. <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> In all my pro I think I'm EOT brainstorming. No, I can wait till turn two, because I'm not gonna jam oath on two. I'm gonna wait till turn three to jam oath. So I'm just gonna play land go. I don't have to brainstorm. <laughs> Maybe I just don't even jam oath on three. <clears throat> I think with my break trap, I jam it. Yeah, so I go like I oath, they force, I fluster, and then I still have my break trap. It's probably fine. I'm not going to jam it on two, though, because I don't want them to just force it, will it? I would actually like to resolve it. So I think it's better for me to wait till three. <laughs> if considering their deck? Alright. Sure. Is that normal? I think that's not normal. Maybe it is. Did they only need to cast like four more spells and they were done? Mm, yeah, that's true. They don't need to cast the brain freeze that many times. <laughs> Waste away another night. Breach with Oracle is not normal. What for consider? Yeah. Sheesh. 
Think you want mommy? What Embercal? What is Embercal even good against? It's not good against their deck. They're not brain freezing us, chat. They're milling us. Or they're they're that's just oracling us. They brain freeze their entire deck and play Oracle. Emrakul does nothing. Solves. Mm -hmm. That does not resolve. Uh, no. I'm good with that, dog. So long the way. I am good with that. Watched as the seasons fade in. You put Emrakul into their deck? Five head. Just trap that, right? Ooh, how greedy do I want to get? Should I trap the Lotus? I should just trap the Lotus, right? What is the absolute worst possible thing that could happen to me? Like, I can't really get punished, right? They've already played their land. I don't think I can get punished. <clears throat> I think I brainstorm first. LED? I guess LED would punish me, yeah. Do they play LED? Also, no, because if I brainstorm first, I can't fluster if they fight over this. Don't wake me up. Aha! They have one card in hand. I cast the Oath of Druids card. Your turn. And they have no Lotus left, so they literally can't combo me. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll brainstorm. Try and find Force. It's way too fucking free, chat. It is just simply too free. It is simply too free. Goodbye! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! Uh. It is simply too free. Alright, go. <clears throat> yeah, that should be game. This game is over. So, go next. So, go next. Yep, go next. When I talk to a friend the way I talk to myself. What could you have possibly drawn? You have no Black Lotus. You have two cards in hand. You have no Ancestral. What on earth could you have possibly drawn? That's fine. <laughs> uh, sure, upstairs. It's gonna mill me. Alright, you got it, dude. That's fine. I don't understand what this accomplishes. They didn't even hit the gristle brand. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk to myself. <clears throat> Did not mail the time walk either. Can you explain why I didn't visit is better than other Gristlebrand or something else? I honestly don't know. I just copied a deck list. 
I don't know what the difference is. I assume there's a reason for it, but... Bro, you're dead. You are dead. Good game. Oh, we get a rematch. This was my round one opponent. I lost to this person round one, and I have not lost a match since. I'm pretty sure this matchup is close to unwinnable for me, but, you know. Uh, they're playing mono white taxes. The scene is really bad. Okay, this hand's nuts. As long as they don't have Thalia. I can't mulligan a hand like this. Yeah, they're on mono white taxes. I, I, I could probably show you their deck list, but... It's a really bad matchup. <clears throat> yeah, but the problem is every single one of their creatures has, like, meaningful, re meaningful text against me. That's the problem. It's not like they're playing a bunch of grizzly bears. <laughs> like... They're playing a bunch of fucking... Yeah, they also have Caracas, so... Well, guess we do this. Just in case they have Mind Break Trap, I'm gonna play this first. I don't really know if they have main deck Mind Break Trap, but... <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we get bought of those. <laughs> oh my god. Even top one? Well, in case they have commando? Yeah, maybe. Maybe topping one is good if they have commando. Okay, that's fine. Alright, I can live with this. I mean, yeah, they might Caracas me, but whatever. Sure. Come on, give me Gristlebrand, please. Gristlebrand, 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 Gristlebrand. Gristlebrand. Let's go! Alright, did we mill... We milled Wasteland. Okay, I think I'm just drawing 14, right? Okay, there's Time Walk, so I think I can draw at least another 7. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We found the Wasteland, too. Did I mill the Sapphire? I did, so I can't go Wasteland Time Walk, but I can just Time Walk. <clears throat> walk in Wasteland? I can't. Well, I have to go Walk first, right? I guess there's no reason to draw more cards now, right? Yeah, okay, so let's just go Trop Walk. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me just chill. I almost don't want to... Hmm. Should I keep the Blessing just in case? Do I need the Blessing? No, I'm going to keep the Blessing. These two are bad. <coughs> Alright, let's go attack and draw seven. Let's go Wasteland you. If I play Oko... Make a food. And... Just pass, I guess. Uh... One. I think I might just force them on upkeep. So I need to keep the blessing to do that. 
Violet and red. Might be a little aggressive to do this, but I don't think it matters. <clears throat> we look, we look together, just not too close, too close. All right, Oko takes two. <laughs> Oko certainly takes two. You got it, dude. Oko takes two. <laughs> uh, all right, plus. Attack. This is just a yep buttons moment. Oh, I guess they get to oath. Might have been bad. What could they possibly oath for? Control despair. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Nice Kataki. They get to oath now? Oh no, not a Kataki. <laughs> not, not a Kataki. How do I ever win? <laughs> How could I ever beat a Kataki? Oh, uh, shit. Imagine the hit palace jailer. Well, you know, that... Uh, we, we don't talk about that, okay? We just, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that, okay? They revealed Luris. True, they did reveal Luris. That is a good point. They couldn't hit palace jailer. I wanna break you down so badly. I don't know how we won game one. I mean, the thing is, when I played them before, I got destroyed. Like, I got absolutely annihilated, and I thought it was just a bad matchup. But, like, we didn't even do that much that game. I just, like, had one piece of interaction and, a, and an oath, and they just died. I was in the play. True, I guess, yeah, I was in the play. It definitely helped. I think Tab's good, I think Claim's good, I think Force is good, Sylvan's good. I almost want Alpine Moon for Caracas. Because, like, Veil's bad, Pyroblast is bad, I think Flusterstorm is bad. I almost want to keep in Misstep because of Swords to Plowshares. And then Mindbreak Trap is bad, so this is 60. I think this is pretty much perfect, right? Like, I think Misstep is probably the weakest card in my deck right now. That and Narset, but... It's like, every card in my sideboard is bad, right? So. My experience is an okay matchup as long as you know what you are versus. Yeah, 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 that's fair. All I wanted was the world. It's only in the end when you were... Keep trapping the draw of a misstep. Well, the thing is, they also bring in Cage, right? I mean, this hand has Force, Nature's Claim, and two mana with an Orchard. I don't have the Oath, but I have to keep this hand, I think. <clears throat> are you ready to draw Oath? How ready are you to just draw the Oath on top? I'm ready. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. Any Oathers in the chat? Alright, never lucky. Never ever lucky. Oh, this is a sketchy keep if they have Wasteland. Oh, oh my god. What do I do, chat? You know what I could do? I could actually Alpine Moon Wasteland. Is that crazy? How crazy is it to Alpine Moon Wasteland? That's actually not that bad, right? I mean, it's it's bad if they have Caracas, I guess, but... I don't think it's that bad. They also have Ghost Quarters. Yeah, that's true. Well, they also showed us Ghost Quarters, so, like, they probably have four Ghost Quarters. Which is, that's where it's sketchy, right? They Ghost Quarter at Shuffles. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. So then we get, we get another look at a land if they Ghost Quarter me. No, we don't have a basic, unfortunately. Alright, I think I'm going to keep and go Alpine Moon Wasteland. 
I'm gonna draw the oath. This is so fucking greedy. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, go. Don't go score to me, please. This is like such a show of weakness, though. Yes! Let's go. At 3 a.m. Well, it's going to suck if they have another one of those, but... Yep. All right, Prage. Prage! Prage! Rage! That's fine. We can beat that. No Caracas? Okay, that's dicey. That's less good. That is less good. Okay, I will activate. We hit Gristlebrand. Okay. So they're going to Caracas. We'll draw seven. They can't plow. You have a Thallion in play. You can't plow. We'll draw seven. Can't draw another seven. I have three cards in my deck. So unfortunately, we have to let that go. Ugh, this is bad. Our hand fucking sucks now. <clears throat> Still based on their Caracas. Yeah, my hand fucking sucks now, though. I'm at nine. I have both creatures in hand. <laughs> oh, man. We need to discard all these creatures for Blessing to Shuffle. Well, I, I can find Brainstorm, but yeah, my hand is fucking awful. I mean, I guess this is maybe a hard cast Niv type of game. Right? Like, I think what I want to do is go, like, Mox... Mox Renin 6, kill the Thalia. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go Mox Renin 6, kill Thalia. Get volcanic. All right, Gathelia. Um, do I discard the Gristle Brand? I think that's okay, right? I only get punished if I draw a Brainstorm, but if I draw a Brainstorm, I can just put this back. I think that's fine. I can Oath to shuffle it back. Oh, right, because I can just flip... Oh, I should have maybe discarded the Niv then. Right, because I can just flip, mill the Blessing, and then shuffle everything back. Yeah, I probably should have discarded the Niv. I forgot I could do that. Yeah, I should discard a Niv. Because then I could just mill my entire deck, flip the Blessing, shuffle the two fatties back in, and then just go again. I mean, I guess I can still do that with Gristlebrand, but now they have the Renin 6. Or they have the Caracas. But I can besiege the Caracas. Okay. That's a thing, then. Should have Renin 6 first, then Preordain. Uh, no, I only had three mana. I didn't have enough to do that. Right? <laughs> of course I draw the blessing. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I'm at six. This is just lethal. That's an issue, huh? Okay. 
Okay, I, I found the brainstorm. Can nature's play my own alpine moon? <clears throat> I only have one green source, though. I guess what I can do is I can go fetch to five, nature's claim my own thing, go to nine, take three, six, go to three, and then upkeep, respond to the oath trigger, besiege you the Caracas, resolve oath trigger, get Gristlebrand into play, hope they have nothing. That's my only out, right? I think I'm going to keep the Brainstorm. Because I want to put the Blessing back. I can also find Time Walk. I'm going to Brainstorm and try to find Time Walk. Alright, did not find Time Walk. So now we have to go Blessing back. I guess I should just play Orchard, right? Does it matter? I don't know if it matters. They probably have swords. I mean, they might, but like, I can't beat it, right? Like, what am I supposed to do? Isn't strip it and then besiege you? Uh, that's so bad for me. Because now I can't upkeep besiege you. God damn it. Oh, it's so bad. I don't know if we have outs now. We have to just draw time walk, I think. I think we just have to draw time walk. Uh, which means I should probably shuffle. Wait, we know there's a Gaia's Blessing on top. No, so I just don't shuffle. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to think. <clears throat> then I mill it all anyways. Right, but what I'm saying is that... Yeah, I guess it's irrelevant. I don't know, whatever. I'm not going to shuffle. I think I'm fucked if they have plow, but... I don't know that there's much I can do about that. I think maybe if they don't have, if they somehow don't have plow, I have a shot, but. Yeah, see, like here, if I had a green source, I could just go besiege the Caracas, resolve the oath, put the Gristlebrand into play. But because they, because I didn't have a extra green source in play, I can't do that. So. Oh, well, they just drew a good save and priest, anyways. All right, Ewan. Didn't matter at all. No, I shuffled Gristlebrand back in, remember? I discarded Gristlebrand to hand size, flipped over Gaia's Blessing, shuffled it back in. So Gristlebrand was in the deck. But that's why I didn't put back the Niv, because I needed to hit exactly Gristlebrand to gain 7 life. So I couldn't I couldn't brainstorm back the Niv, because I needed to guarantee hit the Gristlebrand if I was able to kill the Caracas upkeep, resolve the Oath Trigger, and then have a 7-7 seven, seven lifelink. That's how I was going to win that game. But obviously they had the other... I mean, they just kind of had everything, so it didn't matter, but... Oh, sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. <clears throat> Will we ever love again? Gets me on the play. Xian doesn't do anything. Alright, ship it. I guess? The sand's not really good. But we can pre you can ponder to try and find a force. Get some we know. Oh. Uh yeah, that works. 
No. What you got? Uh, relic, relic, path, relic, wasteland, jet, planes. Okay. Well, now I just narset, right? Yeah, I think I just narset. Mm -hmm. And now we take... I think I still take Force of Vigor. Maybe it's better to take Claim. It's actually better to take Claim, I think. They're probably going to Wasteland me, right? Unless they draw... No, they're probably still Wasteland me either way. <clears throat> Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Vox Force Force Preordain, huh? Oh. I can just take Vox and YOLO Oath? It's bad if I hit the Niv, right? I mean, I'm just gonna take Mox, right? There's no reason not to. <laughs> like... Just go for it. They have to hit exactly... They have to hit a white mox. Right? They have to hit a white mox. They get to kill Narset, but I don't really care if they kill Narset. Alright, planes go. They do have path, which is annoying, but... They're attacking me, I guess. Okay, resolve both. Poggers! Wait, they didn't path? Oh, I guess if they path, I can just respond and find force. Uh, okay, I just play land go then, right? Alright, go. Uh, now what? Okay, I guess I Ancestral. <clears throat> Should they have path their monster on their turn? Potentially, yeah. No, I didn't mill two forces. I think I pitched the second Oko. Graveyard from your library, huh? Alright. Go. Go! Mox Sapphire. That is acceptable. They have triple lean and relic order and a Mox Jet. Uh, okay. I... Lean and Arbiter? No, not the Arbiter. However, will I win? Is there any point in casting Nature's Claim? I don't think so. Alright, I will choose to not resolve the Oath Trigger. Did I mill the Brainstorm? I have not milled the Brainstorm, so if I find the Brainstorm, I can put the Niv Mizzet back, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's just go attack. Empty silhouette. I think I'm just gonna strip mine them and play Oko. Cut eyes with the ghost of Lafia. Gives them a token, which is kind of annoying, but. Alright, you can go. I could have drawn seven to try to brainstorm for my nature's claim. Brainstorm for Nib, you nature's claims. I could have drawn another seven. Oh, what? Upkeep? I guess I could have drawn seven upkeep to try and find the brainstorm. Isn't it annoying because Oko plus two to six for some dumb reason? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> That's exactly why it's annoying. Yeah, I guess I could have drawn seven upkeep knowing I was going to gain seven that turn. 
No, I thought it was at eight. Like, I could do it here, right? Might as well. I'm going to draw seven anyways. Okay. No. Uh, did we find the brainstorm? Where's the fucking brainstorm? I guess at this point I'll just cast my thing. Did I build a time walk? Uh, I could... Hmm. What if I main phase... Well, I guess I might as well attack first, right? Alright, let's go animate this. Attack for 7, post-combat draw 7. I just want to find the time walk. <laughs> <laughs> Bonin said, I got my vengeance and I got mine last round, so I can't be too displeased, particularly not because I don't play Vintage XD. Nice. Did we find the time walk? Where's my damn time walk? I still haven't found the time walk! Come on, man. Uh... I don't know, man. Play this. Yes. <laughs> they said box jet for a lead in hand. Oh, it feels bad, man. <laughs> Alright, they're off it. Alright, chat, it's time. Finals of the challenge. Let's go. Okay. Discovering is likely playing Doomsday. And this hand is pretty bad against Doomsday. It's just a bad hand in general. Okay, this is more like it. We need to find an um we need to find a what you call it, but I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna go Mox Delta Pass. And I think well actually no, I'm gonna play Ren and Six, right? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna play Ren and Six. And I think I'm going to put back the Wasteland. Yeah, I'm going to put back the Wasteland. Is there any chance I'm supposed to bait with Oath? Because maybe it's actually better for me to resolve the Ren. The more I think about it. Yeah, I actually think it's better to bait with Oath. Because I think I care more about resolving the Ren in 6. Right? <laughs> Demonic Tutors is playing Yorion? What the hell? Hmm. That is probably not good for us. Alright, what did he name? Is this hand chat what he named? Uh, named Dark Ritual. Okay. That's not good. Uh, resolves. All right, well, shit. I literally never beat Doomsday. Can never ever beat Doomsday. <clears throat> My hand was pretty good, but it's funny. Even if I kept pop even if I kept the pyroblast, I still think I would have been fucked. I don't think it would have mattered. Maybe somehow they they don't have a kill here, and I can like try to red lock them. I, they don't. I don't know. It doesn't seem very likely, but but they offered a split. No, they didn't. Discover End is never would never offer to split. They're the end boss. They never lose. Why would they ever split? Pepe with in the bottom with the red face on. Yeah. 
Uh, well, at least this is going to be a quick finals. At least it's going to be a quick finals. Just hit OK and let the trigger resolve, man. Come on, bro. There you go. Okay. Against Doomsday. Uh, don't really have much. This matchup is probably atrocious. Trap bad. Moon bad. Claim bad. Lantern, I think bad. Like, none of my cards are good. Gonna force a figure, I guess. I could have a Miser's Lantern for, like, Tide region, because they sometimes board that in. Maybe, like, one Nature's Claim. Could also just keep the Force of Vigor in. Alright. Well, shit. Money Sense Force was in hand. Oh, 100%. You know that Dis Discoverin literally always has the Stone Cold Nuts. Like, there's just, there's no, like, nobody could beat him. He always has the Stone Cold Nuts. There's just nothing you can do about it. Sand is, like, kind of bad, but I have a lot of interaction. Like, am I supposed to keep a hand like this? It doesn't do anything, but it, like, doesn't die. I guess I'll keep. I don't know if it's good, but I'll keep. <clears throat> library better than figure? Maybe. I, I thought library was too slow, but I could see it. All right, that plays. I'm going to wait till turn three. I think. I think it's worth waiting. Can blessing them with Oracle Trigger on the stack? Yeah, maybe that could come up. Bro, come on. Come on, bro. 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 Uh, now I have to kill them with just the 5-5, five five, which is not easy. Blessing is a sorcery. Oh, true. Alright, well. Hope this hap Hope this resolves. It's probably not going to resolve. Classic Discover. No. I mean. I don't know what you want me to do, chat. It is what it is. It is what it is. The, uh, the the doubters know exactly how lucky Discovering is, so, you know. Not much you can do. There's some people you just can't beat. Mm-hmm. Look, I made the finals with Oath, okay? I can't be that upset. <laughs> I made the finals with Oath and lost to the only person who literally never loses. We lost to the MTGO premium user Discover N. Not much you can do. It is what it is. I had a good time, chat. I had a good run. I had, I had a lot of fun. I'm gonna open the chest. Don't stay. Don't don't go anywhere. I'm gonna open the chest. So I'm gonna just right click, open all. I am gonna open the chest. Yeah, what we deserve. Send you one for good luck. Uh, no. Mind break. They'll play around it. They're not going to play a spell. They're they're too good enough to not to. They're too good to lose to mind break here. They also might just have force of will anyway. So. <laughs> I 
I don't want good luck. I can't have good luck after I lose the discovering. I'm gonna get my my losing in the finals picture ready. My my tweet screenshot. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Will we ever get what we deserve? Until the tables turn. All right, we're good. Get what we deserve. So if the stack wins on turn one both games, why everyone isn't running Doomsday? I mean, there's a decent amount of hate for it, and it's also, like, kind of hard to... So, it's weird. It's not hard to play when, like, the easy piles are easy. The issue with Doomsday is there's so many things you have to think about in terms of, like, what your opponent could possibly have when you set up your piles, right? Like, the easy piles are easy. You know, it's just, like, you just stack your deck and you cast your draw spell, they die. But when you don't have lethal, it's like you have to figure out what to play around, you know? And it is kind of difficult. It's it's very, very skill-intensive. Like, see, my opponent's not playing around my, my opponent's playing around my break trap. Which, like, that's kind of like a level one thing. That's pretty easy to do, but... I'm going to ask them, do you ever lose? Question mark. <laughs> Get what we deserve. Get what we deserve. Gotta shuffle their deck. Guess I could have, yeah. Could have. Planning on going to any upcoming large in-person events? Mm, yeah, DreamHack Dallas. Yeah, will we deserve? I've never seen Doomsday lose. I have to let that go. I mean, obviously they have a force in the pile, but. You had to go and ruin it. <laughs> All right, chat. We could not beat the whitelisted Discover N. It's fine. We had a good run. Claps in the chat for the finals. Our opponent was way too whitelisted.